Welcome to your Astrology and Spirituality Overview for Thursday the 21st of May. Thank you Elisa. A day when Venus and Mercury come together in an exact conjunction in Gemini. Now of course uh, Venus does continue to track backwards but I think what this can do is really concentrate our uh, thinking about communication. Mercury is about how we write things, how we talk and it's to do with our intellect. And Venus of course can be very attracting but in the fleet footed sign of Gemini it could be some kind of quick link we have to there or a humorous text or meme that we receive can really kind of cheer us up. So it's really quite a sparkly alliance between these two. Love that. And what cards I are you I love a good meme. <laughs> <laughs> the cards we're going to use today are the Nature Spirits Oracle cards. And this is especially good if we can get into a bit of nature in some way. Yeah, really we find walk, walking every day is just fabulous and we're very fortunate to walk by the River Severn mm -hmm. in Shrewsbury. Um, and because the weather's been sensational here recently, it has been just been very awesome. Lucky. So the card that comes out, wow, well, it says heighten your vitality. This could be, you know, a lot of things, I think. But the first thing that comes to mind is drinking water when this card comes up and just treating our bodies um, as we would a very, you know, special one in more than one in a million thing you know our bodies are um, totally unique to us there is never a body that has been this or ever will be again and so treating it with the respect that it deserves I think when this card comes up just nourishing ourselves with good foods um, good fluids and and getting some exercise really oh that's absolutely lovely mm -hmm. yeah and in terms of the astrology today in relation to that so Mercury would be a good day in Gemini where it's at home to research and Venus can be, um, it can be about food because obviously it's the ruler of Taurus which gives us an appreciation of good food, good wine. Mm -hmm. So the more rustic side of uh, Venus, uh, people starting to grow vegetables in their own back gardens for example mm -hmm. or, if, or if you have an allotment or a larger outdoor space this could be a great time to get earthy through the guise of Venus but also perhaps sharing that and talking about it taking pictures yeah. and that all inspires us to sort of it's yeah fantastic. take care of us a bit more yeah and I've heard that salad is one of the easiest things to grow and you can actually do that indoors you could just like plant the salad leaves in a little pot put it on your windowsill yeah I mean our garden is um, it's probably a, a, a sub-republic of, um, of a subtropical state, so it's it does. Crazy, a it bit does, wild. It does require some um, some yeah. effort. But the bees and love it, and the birds the bees. love it. But we've got lovely laburnum. We've got honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some gorgeous scents out there. But yes, we need to get busy then. Yes. Right. Okay. Indeed. So we stand corrected. <laughs> we on that. do. We have to take our own guidance there. <laughs> so it's been a, a real pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for all your comments. We're getting such lovely interaction with people and we do really endeavour to answer every single comment. That's very important to us. And if you would like a, a live reading with Elisa, not everybody necessarily wants to speak to someone through mm -hmm. Skype but might not be their thing. And Elisa does actually do video readings as well. Uh, which she can send to you so she'll record it for you or an audio reading mm -hmm. or you can have that one-to-one -one, and that's through tarot oracle angel or life coaching please see the link beneath this video thank you so much and feel free to check out your free daily horoscope in the description box beneath as well absolutely so for now it's goodbye from me and, and it's goodbye from him <laughs> goodbye, goodbye.